We are currently based up at Eomo Marsh Triple SI near Farnborough um, and we are releasing the final 80 sand lizards um, for the whole reintroduction process up at Eomo. So this is the culmination of three years of captive breeding, of research and we will now obviously continue monitoring into the future. There have been many highlights today, it's wonderful being out and culminating the whole research in such a wonderful way with so many people who are um, up joining us today and um, helping us with the data collection. And the whole, the whole process, to be honest, is just a, a wonderful thing to be able to rear individuals in captivity and return them to environments that they would have been in, you know, in, in, in history. So it's brilliant. So this is one of our yearling sand lizards, um, which we which hatched last year, and we've overwintered here in the uh, in the sand lizard vivarium we've got here at Marwell Zoo. As I say, this is, this is one of our yearlings, but the adults will get up to maybe 20 centimeters long. Uh, the males will have a very very thick neck and head, um, and and will have uh, very bright, vivid green flanks as well. So this is this is Britain's rarest lizard. In southern England, they're very localized and very fragmented. Things like the loss of their natural habitat means that they've uh, they've declined quite considerably um, and and become very very localized. So we've been able to um, help with captive breeding and release of those for the last 25 years. We have released over the three years a grand total of about 240 animals. So that's been 80 animals a year, and that's been a mixture of hatchlings and also um, some yearling animals. Um, part of my research has been actually to follow those two different age groups um, and see any differences in survivorship between those individuals. So we excavate all our eggs at the zoo and then we incubate them um, and we saw an individual hatch out of its egg this summer um, in quite fine detail which was fantastic to see and then subsequently following the release the majority of my time is spent walking around the site trying to find the lizards again and locate exactly where individuals have moved from and to um, and I've also been um, doing some radio tagging so we followed um, 24 individuals last year for about three weeks after release in a bit more detail and we attached a tag that weighed 0.23 grams so it was absolutely tiny um, this is the first time this has been done for this species following a reintroduction and um, so it was a very novel aspect of the research. So the, the site that we're here at Ilmore Marsh is a unique one because it's, it's very controlled, we're able to, we don't have public access here, we're able to manage the site in a particular way and Rachel's work has been particularly important and unique for being able to monitor the, the very minute details of these animals ecology. And what that means is that her work, which has been tremendous, she's, she's done a fantastic job. She's been able to really provide us with answers to those detailed ecological questions. So we're finding um, that individuals following release are travelling a lot further than we anticipated they might, um, especially over the first couple of week period. We're finding individuals travelling over 100 metres away um, and we're talking about lizards that are you know, a few centimetres long um, in quite a complex habitat, as you can see, through um, ditches and um, heather roots. Um, and we're basically finding some that are coming back round to the release site, whereas others are finding areas um, further away and they seem to be establishing themselves in those areas. Um, so we have a lot of different behaviours going on and it's fascinating to try and get a grasp of how this species um, responds in a release environment and how different that is within different individuals. So at the end of my research, um, I'm hoping that the results I found through this very intensive um, post-release um, surveying and monitoring, I will be able to make recommendations um, for the reintroduction protocol in general going forward for this species.